Underground solution furnished and fused 24 inch DR25 fusible C905 pipe along Saragossa Boulevard in El Paso, Texas. Underground solutions provided pipe and fusion services to the general contractor Horseshoe Construction of Houston, Texas. Underground Solutions provided more than 16,000 linear feet of its 24-inch DR25 fusible C905 pipe. All of the pipe was fused on-site and installed to rehabilitate a 36-inch pre-stressed concrete cylinder water main. Underground Solutions portion of the project took place over a five-month period. When the project was completed, a total pipe length of more than three miles had been fused. Underground Solutions delivered nearly 50 truckloads of 40-foot lengths of fusible C905 pipe. The fusion process is started by setting the pipe into the fusion machine and then aligning the ends for the start of facing. To assist in holding the pipe in place, the rollers are adjusted to the height of the fusion machine so the section of pipe to be fused can easily be aligned in the machine. Pipe is then guided into the machine. For this project, fusion took place mostly at night to minimize traffic disruption. Zaragoza Boulevard was a quiet two-lane street 50 years ago when the original 36-inch water main was installed. Today, it has expanded to six lanes and is a primary artery to the Mexican border. The pipe was installed in 13 separate lengths ranging from 900 to 1800 linear feet. With a pipe of this size, operators and the fusion technicians used an extended forklift to telescope pipe into place. The forklift is positioned behind barriers away from the busy traffic. The fusible C905 pipe is loaded on rollers. The fusion machine being used for this project is a McElroy T900 model capable of fusing 30 inch dip size fusible PVC. The fusion machine has been modified for PVC fusion by adding coated facing blades for longer wear, a hydraulic control valve for the facer, and a data logger with a PVC specific software developed for underground solutions. The facer plate is rotated slowly to allow the facer blades to trim the pipe ends so they are parallel with each other. As the pipe is brought against the facer plate, thin pipe shavings are machined from the pipe ends. The result is a smooth edge that when finished will provide 100% contact with the heat plate. Facing continues until the technician reaches the designated stops on each side of the fusion machine facer plate. The stops hold the facer in exact alignment. As most of the pipe ends faced are cut at the extrusion facility, they are already nearly square and parallel. Very little material needs machined from each end to complete facing. Successful facing results in a true alignment and leaves no chips, no offsets, and no gaps between the pipe ends. The fusion machine operator sets the data logger. For the fusion in El Paso, Texas, a McElroy data logger with software developed for fusible PVC was used. The data logger records vital information about each joint that is fused along the entire length of pipe to be installed. The data logger is a quality control measure that Underground Solutions uses for every project at each location where fusible PVC pipe is installed. The data logger records heating pressure, fusion pressure, and time lapse for the creation of the fusion joint along with other parameters. The heat plate is set at the correct temperature to melt PVC under pressure, ensuring the formation of the bead needed for the fusion process. The fusion technician verifies that the temperature range is acceptable on both sides of the heating plate before fusion begins. He uses an infrared pyrometer to measure the temperature of the heat plate at the location where the pipe will be in contact. Temperature readings are recorded for each pipe segment being fused. As both ends of the pipe are heated to the required temperature, bead formation occurs where the pipe contacts the heater plate. The heater plate is held to the ends of the pipe segments until the bead reaches the required shape. The technician then hydraulically removes the heater plate and the pipe ends are brought quickly together to form a fusion joint. The fusion joint is then held under pressure until the joint cools. The pyrometer is used again to check the joint temperature during cool down. The fusion process is complete. More than 450 joints were fused for the Saragossa Boulevard slip lining project. 
there are several different ways to pull or push the new pipe into the hose pipe. To accomplish this slip lining, the contractor elected to install a 24-inch fusible C905 using an 80-ton static pipe bursting machine to pull in as much as 1,800 feet of fusible C905 in one pull. This method works well with heavier lengths of fusible C905. An alternative to this method is pulling in with a wire rope cable and winch. Care needs to be taken as the cable will stretch and contract during pull-in. This pipe bursting machine is a hydraulically controlled machine that was operated outside of the trench during this point of the installation. Rods from the pipe bursting machine are removed with a simple latch design allowing for easy removal in a pit. The rods are made with a strong forged steel, therefore they do not stretch like a wire rope would under load. Because the fusible C905 weighs significantly less than other thermoplastic materials, a smaller machine was used which lowered the installation cost for the owner. As the pipe nears the entrance point, color-coded pipe pulling rods will let the operator know that the pull head is getting close to the exit point of the pit. The fusible C905 pipe is connected to the pull rods by a pulling head specifically designed for PVC. The pull head is bolted to the pipe for a positive connection. The pipe is then inserted into the 36-inch existing line. The static pipe burst equipment was a better alternative than typical winch and cable equipment with a pipe of this large diameter because the steel rods used with this equipment engaged the pipe when the hydraulic force occurred. In this case, there was no stretch and contract situation which can occur when wire cable is used to pull heavy large pipe. For this installation, the system worked perfectly. While it appears to move slowly, the pipe pull-in maintained a constant rate of 10 to 15 feet per minute. For this installation along and under Saragossa Boulevard, pits ranged from 75 to 100 feet long, depending on the depth of the hose pipe. In some areas, the hose pipe was more than 10 feet below street level. The flexibility of fusible C905 pipe allows for a smooth transition from street level to host pipe elevation in the pit. The fusion joints allow the joined pipe to act as a single monolithic length. Laydown areas along Saragossa Boulevard were provided for in the planning and traffic control phases of the project. During the project, the pipe was fused into lengths and those lengths were joined as the poles were being installed. Several 400 to 500 foot lengths were staged along the intersection as the project progressed. 16,000 feet of fusible C905 pipe was fused and installation was completed in January of 2007. The final pressure test to 150 PSI was successfully completed in January, only five months after the project began. Routing and connection work were completed shortly thereafter.